Hey, welcome back to my channel. Today's video, I'm going to do another tag video, and today's tag is going to be the Lip Product Addict Tag. Uh, Nicole Chantel did this a couple months ago. Uh, she didn't tag anybody, but I thought it was kind of a cool tag to participate in, so I decided to do one myself. And stay tuned to the end of the video for a little bit of a special announcement that uh, some new project that I'm working on. So let's get right into it. Uh, Alright, so this tag video is eight questions long uh, and encompasses every lip product including treatments all the way up to full-on lipsticks. So let's get started with question number one, which is what is your favorite lip balm or treatment? Uh, my favorite lip balm at the moment is uh, this one from Wild Prairie Botanicals. This is a shop based in Calgary, Alberta. I was there this, uh, I was not at the shop, but I found it this summer when we were out visiting my family. And I gotta say, this is super smooth. It's a small town. It's a small company that has a little Etsy shop online, which I will leave in the uh, description box down below so you can go check it out. This thing is really smooth. This is the orange spice scent. Oh, it smells so amazing. It smells like, like fall, winter, Christmassy smells but it's not cinnamony, I guess. Like it's not super spicy, it's more orangey. It's super soft. It works really nicely on my skin. I put it on in the morning on my lips while I'm doing my other makeup and then I'll brush my teeth and wipe it off before I put my lipstick on and it really hydrates my lips and it makes them really moisturized and just like lets the colored lip product go on a lot smoother. So yeah, that's my favorite at the moment. Next up is what is your favorite eye catching red? Uh, and this one is the Too Cool For School Hot Girl Lip Sticker in the color five. It doesn't have a name, but it is a cool toned red that looks absolutely beautiful. It's super smooth while also not drying. It's like a lip balm and lipstick in one. It's great. It uh, wears away gracefully. It doesn't stick to your teeth, which I found a lot of other lipsticks that I have that are red do. Um, and it's just a convenient little small size. It's fairly affordable. I believe these are about $11 US. So it's kind of in the middle of drugstore and higher end. You don't get a lot of products, but I mean, let's be honest, how many of us have gone through a whole lipstick in a reasonable amount of time? So this is my favorite eye-catching red. Uh, next up is the best luxury and drugstore products. Now, I'll start with drugstore. Uh, I'm gonna go with road shop brands, which are kind of drugstore, but they're independent of drugstores. So they're kind of the same price point as drugstore, but because I like Korean makeup, these are kind of the equivalent of a drugstore brand. So I like the Etude House Twin Shots Lip Tint, Lips X Tint. Now this is a double-ended lip tint and mousse, like they call it a mousse tint and tint shot. Uh, so which is kind of a glossier, a glossier product. Um, so on either side, this one is, this is the mousse tint. So this one is actually the lip color. It's a double-ended stick. Um, and you get a really smooth, creamy tint on one side. And on the other, you get kind of a shinier, um, glossier type of like, product to help with a gradient lip. So what you would do is you would put the lip tint all over your lips. So you put this color all over your lips and then this in the inner section of them to create a really beautiful gradient lip. Now I don't use them for that. I use it more as a topper. So I'll put this all over my lips and use this as a topper, which looks beautiful as well. So that's my favorite drugstore for that lip product. Now my favorite ugh, luxury, this is luxury. Uh, I differentiate between luxury and high-end. High-end is kind of like the Sephora brands, the Becca's, the Max, the Urban Decay, stuff like that. And I, I define luxury as like the couture designer brands, the Chanel's, the Dior's, the Givenchy's, those type of brands. And actually, I only have one total luxury product. So I... Uh, by default, this is the best luxury one I own. So this is a Givenchy lip color in the Rouge Interdit line. This one is in 6Y01. It's a little 100 point perk I got at uh, Sephora when I went for the um, 
Christmas holiday preview, a rouge event, and it's right there. It's super smooth. It looks really pretty on the lips. It slips around a little bit, but other than that, it sits perfectly. And it's just a beautiful product that doesn't dry your lips out, fades away gracefully, and just feels super nice. The next question is the best MAC lipstick. And I don't own a lot of MAC lipsticks. I think I own six total. Um, out of my whole lip uh, collection and I only own six MAC lipsticks, but I went to Calgary this summer and I bought three, they had buy two get one free uh, sale on their lip products. So I wanted to buy three lipsticks, got one for free. So this is one of the ones I purchased, but it's quickly become one of my favorite neutral nude colors. And this one is in Hot Gossip. This is a cream sheen finish. It's a really beautiful pinky nude, as you can see right there, it's a really nice sheeny type of um, lip product. I'm not really super into like matte dry down stuff. I don't really like that type of a look a lot of the time. I like like the more neutral creamy, creamy colors. So this one is Hot Gossip um, and it goes on like a matte lipstick. Smells like vanilla, goes on like a MAC lipstick. Smooth, really pretty, fades away gracefully. You won't notice it fading away. I can reapply it really, really easily. So yeah, that's my favorite MAC one. Most disappointing lip product. Um, and this one really made me sad because I love this brand um, for lip products. They're some of my favorite Korean lip products ever uh, come from this brand. And they're already, they were, it's already, one of them's already been in this uh, video. So this is the Etude House Fresh Cherry Tint in the color PK001. It's this pale pinky color on a doe foot applicator. There is, smells like candy. However, there is next to no color payoff and my lips are darker than this color. So it looks like I'm wearing nothing. And my thing is it's super drying. It's really not, not something for me. I mean, if you've got really super pale lips, I can see this working for you really well, but it's just the color and the, te and the, the formula of it is really liquidy. It's really just not a nice product to wear. It's really drying. It's just not for me. So the fresh cherry tint for my two houses, no. Lip liner, yes or no? No, <laughs> I don't really like lip liners. They're not my favorite. I got a video coming up next week or the week after, I think that talks about why I don't wear lip liners. Um, but yeah, so lip liners, a no-go for me. Favorite gloss. Um, when it comes to glosses, I love a lot of glosses. I like ones that aren't too shiny, but they still give your lips that little bit of the like, bam type of thing without giving them a liquidy look. And I found that these do it really well. And they're really, really inexpensive. This is the Tony Moly Petite Bunny Gloss Bar. I have the entire collection of these. They have nine of them. They're like $3 US. Um, this is number four, which is a really pretty reddish pink. And when you put them on, they give you a little bit of color, but it's more of a topper for another lip product. And I love to wear them because they're, they're gloss, but a balm as well. Like they sit like a lip balm, which is wicked. If your lipstick is fading away, you don't really want to put on more lipstick. You can just toss some of this on and it'll give you the little bit of color payoff without sticking to your lips, which will help your lipstick look a lot nicer in the long run. So yeah, it's my favorite gloss. And the next uh, product is like dot 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 something else. So this is kind of a new favorite I found that uh, I truly, I really, really, really love. Um, and it is the Chosunga 22 16 brand TNG Blue Aid Tint and Balm. Um, they call it a tint and gloss, but it's not a gloss. Uh, this is a double ended lip tint. I'm not going to put it on because I put it on yesterday when I was filming and it still doesn't come off my hands. So this is a really nice deep red lip tint or lip stain that looks beautiful on. But the thing with it is, is that you can also, you also have a lip balm on the other side. So if your lips ever feel dry from the tint, you just toss on the balm and you don't have to carry an extra product in your purse. So it helps the tint to stay on a lot longer while also moisturizing your lips at the same time. So yeah, that's my extra. That's my newest lip favorite. And uh, I kind of want to buy more of them for sure, but uh, not till I'm finished some other lip products I have in my collection. All right, so that's it for this tag video. Um, I tag, I'm gonna tag a few local YouTubers. So here you go, gals. So I'm gonna tag Amanda and Lola NL. 
I'm gonna tag Shauna Minnie and I'm gonna tag Liz Anderson to do this tag. Um, and I mean, if you wanna do it as well, this is open to anybody who wants to do it. I'll leave all the questions down in the description box as well as where you can find all of these products. Um, and I'll leave all those links down in the description box for you uh, down below. Uh, and also let me know if you like this video by giving me a big thumbs up uh, down below. And also if you want to see more content from me, don't forget to hit the little red subscribe button. And if you want to be notified when I post new content, don't forget to hit the little bell next to it. All right, we'll see you next time. Bye. So bonus part at the end of this video, um, I just recently got an Instagram page about a few months ago and I haven't really been posting regularly on it because I'm kind of still feeling it out. I don't have a cell phone. I know, crazy, right? But my husband does. So I've been using my, his cell phone as well as my iPad to kind of figure out my way around Instagram for the last few months. But I've kind of wanted to start a new series on there where I kind of post on it once a week, make it more of a regular thing. So what I've decided to do on my Instagram is that every Friday at some point during the day, I don't know what time I'm gonna do it yet to be consistent on it. I'm just gonna see how it turns out. Um, I'm going to be posting a makeup inspired look that I'm calling hashtag everyday villains. I'm taking inspiration from various villains in TV shows, movies, cartoons, animes, video games, any type of visual villainy looks, I guess you could say. And I'm uh, taking it and taking the inspiration from that to create a look that you can wear every day without it looking like a costume or like over the top makeup. This look is one of them uh, right now. It's not going up today, but it will or today or Friday, but it will be going up eventually and you'll find out who it's inspired by. But this is what I'd like to do is that every, every Friday I'd like to have a makeup look that has inspired me from a villain in some form of uh, visual presentation. So yeah, so I would love if you could leave me comments of villains you would like to see uh, down in the comment section below. I have a few I've planned out already, but I will be sure to add yours to the list and I will create an inspirational makeup look then. So, and I will have everything listed um, on my Instagram as well for any products I've used on my face and you'll be able to see those looks on Fridays. So that's a special announcement. So be sure to go follow me on my Instagram. I will leave my Instagram link down below along with any other information. And hopefully we'll see you over on my Instagram.